In this video, I'm going to show the working of a question that uh, is from the chapter relation. The question says that show that the relation R in the set of integer given by R A B such that two divides A B is an equivalence relation. So we need to show that this is an equivalence relation. Now, as you know that uh, in order to prove this as equivalence, I need to replace B with A. So what in case if I replace this B with A, it should be A minus A, and we know that A minus A is zero. Uh, you should also know that uh, zero, two divides zero, that means two multiplied by zero is zero. So we say that two divides zero. So that means A comma A, right, belongs to R. Hence, we can say therefore R is reflexive. R is reflexive. Now, next to prove symmetric for in order to prove this as symmetric, what we are need, uh, going to do is that let's say a comma b belongs to R such that a minus b is divisible by two. Now, it's, since it is divisible by two, I can write this as say two times m or say two times n. Let's say I wrote two times n here. Now, what in case if I flip the order, that means if I, instead of a minus b, if I write b minus a clearly, if a minus b is 2n, b minus a will be minus of 2n. Even if it is negative, it is still divisible. So it implies that b minus a also belongs to r. So as you can see, I took A minus B belongs to R. As a result, we also got B minus A belongs to R. And therefore, we'll say that R is symmetric. So R is symmetric here. R is symmetric. Now, in order to prove it is uh, transitive, what I'm going to do is we will take, let's say, let a B belongs to R, or we can directly take A B and B C belongs to R, right? So if A B belongs to R, it means A minus B is divisible by two. So I'll say take two M, and if B C belongs to R, it means B minus C again will be divisible by two. Let's say it is two times N. Now I'm going to add these two equation. If I add these two equation can clearly see that B and minus B get cancelled. So as a result, we get A minus C. Right. And it will, if I take two common, it is 2M plus N. Now it is two times the sum of two integers. So it implies that A minus C is divisible by two. Right. So what do we get that uh, we can say two divides, two divides, a minus C. So that means AC belongs to R and therefore R is, therefore R is transitive. And we have proved this, right? What we have proved as of now, we proved, uh, we proved this first, reflexive here. We proved symmetric here and then we proved it transitive. So as you know that when all these three relations are true, I mean, if it is reflexive, symmetric, as well as transitive, we say R is an equivalence relation. Equivalence relation. This is how you will prove this question.